client compliance. I wanted to talk about client compliance because a lot of the groups that I'm in and some of the other um, people in weight loss and body contouring that I talk to, they tend to really be focused on the great before and after picture. And it, they're disappointed when they don't get the shot or the result that, you know, they intended to get. You know, you put all this work in, you know, you make a treatment plan up and, you know, you think you're just about to get these bomb photos, these bomb before and afters. And it just, sometimes it just doesn't happen for us for one reason or another. But the reason I'm going to talk about today is client compliance. And that is literally, I would say, 70% of that result is client compliancy. We as techs and artists can do, we can get the best treatment. We can give the best aftercare and before care instructions. We can lay out the red carpet for our client and just put a lot of work and effort and consistency into our treatment. But if they do not do their part, I am here to tell you, do not fret. It is not your issue. That you can tell them exactly what to do and how to do it. The client will give you all of the reasons why they can't, why they're not, and why they just won't do it. And us as business owners, artists, techs, whatever you call yourself, we have to be settled in that. We have to just accept that. Because you cannot make people do anything if they don't want to do it. People out there are just, they just want an easy way out, period. They want the quickest, fastest, easiest way out. And, you know, at the end of the day, I know that there is no quick, fast, easy way to lose weight, to get in, in shape. But if there are still people out there that believe that, that, that want that, that are seeking to find it, what can I do about it, right? So, the recommendations. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me break this down. And this is this is forget it right. I have talked about this in bits and pieces before, other videos and stuff. But I, this video is strictly dedicated to getting those the the best possible results for your client. Number one. Counter indications. Before you touch a client, you need to have a proper medical history on them. You need to know if there are any ailments, any diseases, any medications, anything in their lifestyle that they may be doing actively or used to do or was doing but is doing now you literally you literally need to be like a detective example prescription steroids are counterindicated so i had a client who said on her client intake form that she had asthma but not on any medication for it we got to talking. I'm looking at her form and said, oh, you have asthma. What type of asthma do you have? What are some of the symptoms that you have when, you know, um, you have a flare-up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Is your asthma seasonal? She proceeded to start talking and tell me that, yes, her asthma is, um, is activated or her asthma attacks are induced by exercise. So me having the experience that I have, I know that people who have cardio or exercise or seasonal induced asthma typically have some type of relief medication for that instance. They don't usually take anything daily to prevent asthma attacks. They usually take something on site when they start to have the heavy breathing and chest tightening and stuff. So I said, oh, okay, what medication 
have you been prescribed not are you taking what medication have you been prescribed for when you may or may not get these attacks she proceeded to tell me that she was prescribed two different inhalers you see where I'm going with the story two different inhalers um, one was a uh, pro air which is albuterol and one was uh, I think it was an Advair disc uh, inhaler which is a guess what steroid so but on her form she did not say that she had been prescribed these medications and the reason why and I don't say to them oh well you didn't say that on the form I say oh, okay so then I say, I get the writing on the form and she's like oh yeah I, I didn't put it on there because and it doesn't matter to me why you didn't put it on there the bottom line is now that I have this information I now know what I can and cannot treat you with you understand what I'm saying if you treat a client that is on steroids or has any other counter indication you risk the chance of blowing them up, not literally, but them getting bigger. You risk the chance of literally wasting your time, their time, and their money. And then you risk the chance of your reputation. So that is number one, counterindications. You have to you have to get down to the bottom of it. I'm not going to go through all the counterindications because there are several for different treatments. There are treatments that people who use steroids can still get um cavitation is not one of them that's number one number two lifestyle so what i mean by lifestyle are are you a smoker do you drink how often do you drink if you've been drinking within the last 24 to 48 hours i suggest you come when you haven't been drinking in the last 24 to 48 hours it doesn't matter what you drink drunk or drink it doesn't matter how much you drank or drink it doesn't matter why you drank or drink it's not it's not appropriate to treat anyone who's been drinking in the last 24 to 48 hours why bruising um the treatment is going to treat the alcohol and toxins that the person has just intook and not the fat so it's just like let your body process all that let it get all that out itself and then we'll come and work on the fat or the areas that you are you know wanting to work on three again lifestyle do you exercise okay if you're going to be doing this treatment you need to be doing some type of cardio at least three times a week will it work without exercise it may but it is it's a requirement for me now i like i said i can't tell you what these people are doing when they go home i don't know but it's a requirement for get it right okay do you drink water you have to drink water to flush everything out these people have to drink water not um sparkly water not water with the powder shit they put in it not um i only drink water in the morning not tea because for some reason people think that's water a pro what propel oh gatorade water water with the exception of lemon or cucumber or fruit or veggies in it water a lot of water okay i'm talking about not three bottles oh yeah i drink a lot of water i say how much is, oh do you drink water oh yeah i drink a lot of water okay how much keep digging how much water do you drink oh, about three wa three three water bottles a day oh, okay what kind of bottles like the plastic ones or the a bottle or a tumbler what is your interpretation of three bottles of water because my interpretation of three bottles of water and your interpretation of three bottles of, of water are totally different things they could be talking about them little mini bottles that i used to like give the kids on the basketball team when i was like team mom or whatever those little ones so i think they're like four ounces they could be talking about an eight ounce they could be talking about the smart water that's like i don't know 16 ounces or something they could be talking about a thermos full a cup full you need to find out how much water they are drinking every single day the last one for lifestyle is their eating habits run me through a typical day of what you're eating 
all for lunch no let's start with breakfast all for breakfast um i i, I mostly skip breakfast but i don't eat until like lunch two o'clock because i'm full how you full you feel full or you're full oh yeah i i'll, I'll have a nutrigrain bar for on my break okay you see what i'm saying that's why you have to probe you have to pick up on cues you have to listen to what they're saying because you just told me you don't eat nothing till lunchtime but because you, you're full but then you told me you don't eat nothing for breakfast so how are you full when you didn't eat since yesterday ma'am and so it's things like that okay so you have a nutrient bar is that the first thing you eat in the morning okay so you don't have no water or no juice or nothing or oh yeah i drink coffee oh so what's in your coffee oh i put two sugars and a creamer okay you need to know that why because coffee you don't need people drinking coffee before they come in you don't want anybody drinking coffee during treatment what treatments i can um, put in their treatment plan and then i can go after i have this information in and make suggestions based on the type of food they eat when they eat how they eat um and all those things so um this is all before i even touch them okay i need to know you you should be getting this information because it's going to determine the outcome of their treatment right which is why we're here the second thing is the aftercare okay so now we know we need you drinking water now we know we don't want you to have any coffee before you come in uh now we know we don't want you eating any heavy meals a couple hours before you come in we don't want you drinking alcohol what are we going to do after okay so we're still not going to be drinking alcohol we are still going to be doing some type of cardiac exercise um but now we're going to be eating consciously we're going to be eating with this treatment in mind so i'm not going to go and have a soda instead of soda i'm going to have water instead of orange juice i'm going to drink water with some oranges in it you know what i'm saying try to like give them a healthy alternative to what they're what they already have they are not the most uh, health conscious or educated on nutrition um and so i try to incorporate some tips into how they can make try to make it a little easier for them you know somebody who is eating you know i don't know 2000 calories a day is not going to go from 2000 calories a day to 1200 calories a day just like that overnight because you told them to so you want to try to incorporate what they're already doing but then like incorporate some healthy habits um another thing i say is okay well and if you if you drink oh you do drink tea you drink tea okay what are you putting in your tea oh i put two sugars okay let's try some honey in our tea you know um let's try to eliminate dairy this week and see how it goes um i have you know people who eat two tortillas with every meal okay let's try to do one tortilla or have you seen those new balance tortillas in the grocery store let's try those things like that oh yeah i usually cook my fish in oil okay well let's try cooking it in a in some pam or a little bit of grapeseed oil or something like that you know i'm always i'm constantly trying to come up with ways to keep their um their eating habits the same but then incorporate some healthier ways of doing it i'm always saying a brisk walk i'm not telling my clients to go when i had a girl last week who was like i'm about to go home and do i'm about to go home and work out but you ain't worked out in 10 years how you about to go home what are you what are you planning on doing oh, i'm gonna do some crunches and i'm gonna run them out and i'm and i'm just looking at her like okay that's cool that's great i, I want you to do all that but um encourage them to build their way up i guess is what i'm saying waist training is especially if you're working on the abdomen if you're any part of the body um um compressing that area after treatment bring your waist trainer in with you bring your armbands in with you bring bring your thigh straps in with you if you have some ace bandages whatever it is because it's really 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 helpful to compress the area that you're working on why because you are training that area to not allow bloat and toxins and all the things we don't want there to get up out of here so waist training is going to help you get those shots um 
the third part of this is yes there are instances where people get off the table and they have lost a couple of inches and you can see a really nice defined waist and that stomach has gone down but there's nothing like day three there is nothing like day three after treatment if you have a client who you don't you don't see any differences you take measurements you take pictures you're not really noting any differences if you if they if they're doing multiple treatments which they should be nobody should be coming in for just one forget it right that's not even an option um but if if you have someone who you didn't see any changes in when they come back on day three and they have followed the before and after care instructions and they don't have any counter indications and they are honest with you and they they've done what what you've asked them to do and follow the directions and the instructions i am almost certain that you are going to get some inch loss i'm almost certain that your before and after pictures are going to you you will be able to see a difference okay um and that is why we are here we are here to make changes we're here for them to get a difference so um, those are the things that I came to talk about today. If you are having trouble getting those shots that you, and we all want them. We all we we all want that money shot. We all want that stomach that was like this, and now your in your after picture is like this, like this. It was like this, and now it's like this. Like we all want that. Like that is what gets people's attention. That is what gets people asking questions and wanting to come in. And no, all of our clients are not going to have that because for one reason or another, there are so many reasons why. But if you have a compliant client that's honest with you, and you'll know right off the bat if this is a client who is, you know, being truthful, who is really there to do the work with you, um, you'll know. And if you follow what I just broke down, um, I'm almost positive you'll get that shot. Yeah. I am excited to be able to go live now. I would really love to go live and answer questions that you may have live and to just discuss things that, you know, that come up in this body contouring world and the sculpting industry that, you know, we'd be looking for answers to or whatever. So, yeah, if you guys would like to um, discuss anything in particular, drop it down below in the comment section and i will be sure to um add it to a list of things that we can discuss when i go live i would be so appreciative if y'all gave me a follow and like the video if any information i just went over was useful for you if you learned anything from this video or you heard something that you never heard before and it was interesting or it was it helped you out please like the video and i'll see you guys on the next one get it right